only one water cooling prices have been falling down for the past few years and now we are at the lowest ever you can literally buy a 240 liters only one from a very much non-reputable brand for around 50 to 60 bucks is this the end for air cooling are we really at a point where it doesn't make sense anymore well welcome back at the PSUs and this is what we're going to discuss here today now first of all i want to actually debunk a few of the things people say to make you go for air cooling so they say air cooling is never going to break water cooling may have leak or your pump may break eventually and in my experience building hundreds of pcs and probably close to a thousand in my whole career right now i have probably seen two maybe three water coolers pump fail on me if they were mounted properly i however have seen a lot of fans break even on air coolers so you may encounter a failure point both on your all-in-one as in your air cooler with the same chance and the failure point is going to be the fan if the pump gives out it's usually going to be within the first month of usage and it's going to be under warranty so you should not get an air cooler just because it is more reliable it is not more reliable however it has a few points why it still makes sense in my opinion in 2025 and to answer the title i don't think air cooling is dead in 2025 yet if things keep going like this i'm not sure it will ever be dead now of course we are not talking about specific use cases because if you're doing an extremely small sff itx gaming pc where you don't have space for water cooling then of course air cooling still makes sense but i'm talking about a very standard build like the one i have next to me this one is a used pc build with a ryzen 9 1500x and an rtx 3060 so in a pc build like this why should you buy an air cooler and why not a water cooler first of all air cooling still is cheaper so what i have here today is something from xilence because i saw it online for around 40 bucks and it's the xilence m806d b b stands for black this thing is a dual tower air cooler with two fans 120 meters fans it's pretty chunky but still fits in pretty much every single case out there and it works on every single socket so md intel it doesn't matter and it is cheaper than even the cheapest 240 meters only one water cooler on the box they say it is rated up to 260 watts of tdp now while i may actually not agree with the tdp or better they are writing the right number but what they mean is peak power they don't mean prolonged power if we had a cpu running 260 watts all the time this thing wouldn't be enough to cool it but uh, not even a 360 millimeters water cooler could cool it of course this is however very much able to handle every single cpu in the market yes you heard it right and we are talking about a very cheap air cooler you can put even the latest core ultra 9 to 85k on it or you can put a ryzen 9 1950x3d on it and it's gonna run great for example in this budget build where i think most people are gonna buy to put it in because most of you are not gonna buy this to put on a high-end pc even though you could this is gonna be actually overkill for the kind of performance it's delivering because here are a few benchmarks with this 12 core ryzen 5000 chip and as you can see we have a lot of headroom and uh, the longer we go on the more efficient cpu becomes so of course if you're running for example a ryzen 9 1900x it's going to be a lot more efficient than the cpu i'm running so it's actually going to be around the same power draw overall which means again if you don't care about aesthetics if you want a full black air cooler yes you can pair this one even in a rtx 5090 pc build but it makes special sense in a mid-range build where you're strapped for a budget and what the extra thermal headroom will allow you to do is you can actually overclock your cpu more or undervolt it in a way to get more performance more and utilize pbo or the extra headroom by the intel 200s boost if you're on intel and basically get free performance by going a bit overkill on your all-in-one now sure it may not have screens cool looking tubes and fancy water noises but it's going to be overall more effective another thing about water noises very cheap only one water coolers usually have a loud pump not extra loud but you can hear it if you have a quiet system air coolers generally are just a little bit more quiet where they do lose a little bit is usually under load so under full load a water cooler on average is generally quieter but if we are talking about comparable prices to a unit like this and you don't have to buy this there are a lot of good choices out there for example the deep cool peerless assassin is a good choice noctu i think is a bit overpriced at the moment so i wouldn't buy it you have thermal right doing something good with coolers i 
actually prefer this over Thermorite if I have to choose. I think it has a slightly better build quality. It's a bit easier to build in, but it's my personal preference. But the point is, if you don't care about those things, the noise is actually going to be better here. And the only thing you're actually trading off is idle temperature, because in idle, those run hotter because they have a lower velocity of transfer between the cold plate and the heat sink because you have heat pipes and not water there. That's the technicality and it's the only main difference. It's a bit slower to adapt to thermal changes, to spikes. But spikes aside, an air cooler is still very much viable in 2025 and I actually recommend you guys go ahead and buy it. And I think if you're flipping pieces, if you manage to make it look nice, it can also be a game changer. Instead of buying an only one, you can pocket an extra 30 to 40 bucks profit. But again, if you're flipping pieces, aesthetic is very important. So make sure your build does look nice with an only one maybe with an air cooler. Maybe get it white and maybe get it RGB. Think about it. But this is what I think about it. And as usual, in all my videos, I want to hear what you guys think about it. So are you running an air cooler? Have you built a PC with an air cooler? And do you think they are still relevant in 2025? Do let me know down below and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.